What's up guys? I just want to start off this video with saying thank you for a thousand followers. We're so excited that we're able to have a thousand of you subscribe to our channel and follow along this journey to learn all the different tips and tricks on jewelry making. Thank you so, so much to all 1,000 of you. We're so grateful for you and we hope going forth, we're able to create content for you guys to help you learn more and more about jewelry making, show you different parts and things that you wouldn't have necessarily known otherwise. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this choker-like necklace. But what's unique about this piece is that instead of having a regular lobster clasp that just hooks in the back, I decided to create this one with a slider clasp instead that can be adjusted short or long and just tossed around your head without having to do the clasp attachment. I'm also gonna be showing you a few different charm options that you can use, so stay tuned to see those amazing options. I lined up the beads how I want it to be strung on the chain. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your chain and cut it to your preferred length. In this case, I'm cutting it to about 16 inches. Once you have the chain cut, you wanna go ahead and take your crimp end and round those plier. And what I like to do is hold the crimp end with my round nose plier in the middle, then grab the chain and Put it inside of the crimp end and once it's all the way in you just want to go ahead and press down in the middle and make sure it's fully crimped down and that the chain is fully secured inside and will not slip out if you have some excess chain dangling out from this side you can just go ahead and grab your green cutter with a thin tip and cut off that excess chain Doing this will give it more of a finished look. You don't want that piece showing. Once you have one side of the crimp end on the chain, you can go ahead and start stringing your beads onto the chain. And just continue stringing all the beads until it's done. Once you have all the beads on the chain, you can go ahead and take your opposite crimp end with your Ramos plier and slide the chain inside of the crimp end and press down once the chain is inside to secure it in there. You always do like a little test before you fully let go to make sure it's crimped down. the excess chain off and it should look something like this when you're done what you want to do then is go ahead and find the middle section of the chain you can attach any charm of your choice so I brought a few charms to show you guys of different options that you can add there's this one which I'm most likely gonna end up using we even have these super cute new Buddha pendants that come in a green color and it's also available in the white color as well. If you were to choose to do the Buddha though, you would have to do it while you're stringing the beads onto the chain because it already comes with a bail attachment that's closed and soldered. So there's no way to be able to open this. You would actually have to slide it onto the chain at the halfway point and then continue stringing on. So for this look, I'm gonna go ahead and use this gold star pendant and it already comes with its o-ring attachment. So all you need to do is grab your set of pliers and open up the jump ring, slide the charm onto the chain and then close it up and it should look something like this. For this next step, what you wanna go ahead and do is take this chain right here, which is gonna fit inside the slider clasp and cut it to about six inches. And this sizing is totally up to you. If you wanna have it longer, you can. And you wanna go ahead and cut two of the exact same length chains because we're gonna be adding it to both sides of the chain with the spacer beads on them. Once you have the two chains cut, you can go ahead and take your jump ring and open it up with your pliers and attach the chain to the end of the crimp end. 
and then close it up. You wanna pass the jump ring and come back and hear that little click. That little click that you hear indicates that the jump ring touched when you were closing it and it's fully closed and there's no opening left. And then for the opposite side, you just wanna go ahead and do the same thing. Take your jump ring and attach the chain to the end of the crimp end. Now that we have both sides of the chains attached, what you wanna do is grab a wire, bend it in half, then you wanna attach the end of the chain onto the wire and then slide the wire inside of the slider clasp. And it should look like that. And there is a rubber inside of the slider clasp which creates a little bit of a grip and it will hold it in place. Then you just wanna go ahead and repeat that same thing to the opposite side of the chain. and then insert it into the other hole on the slider clasp. Usually it's a lot easier to pull it through, but since my wire is a little thick, I am struggling a bit, so that's why I recommend using a thinner wire. Once that's on, you can go ahead and just slide that off of the chain, and it should look something like this. For the last step, what you wanna do is take some kind of dangle or charm of your choice that you'd like to connect to the end of this chain so that once this slider clasp does come down, it doesn't have the ability to slip off. So in this case, I'm gonna be using these small little CZ dangle charms. And a piece like this would be super cute for something with an open back top or when your hair is in an updo and the back of the necklace is showing. Once you have that last CZ dingle charm on, your necklace is set and ready to wear. So this is what it'll look like when it's all done. It's so stunning and it has such a good weight to it so it feels heavy. And so what you want to do is just slide it all the way to the end so it's wide enough to fit around your neck. The beautiful thing about this piece is that if you like it hanging long like this, you can totally leave it long with your outfit if you like that look better. Or if you want to shorten it, depending on your outfit, you can just pull the clasp in the back up and it'll sit shorter to your neck pair it with the chain like I have here, or you can even take off this chain, wear it solo. It's totally up to you how you want to style this piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. I'll definitely be linking all these products down below for you to shop at athenianfashions.com. And we also offer free shipping for all orders, $100 or more. Let me know which charm you think would have looked best with this piece or the charm that you would have chosen.